Hey you guys, it's your girl Lamar Mia, aka Mia, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> but let's get into how these nine to five jobs be killing us. And a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm not um taking off of work. And trust me, I used to be that type of person. Like, y'all gotta excuse my voice because I really don't feel good, but I had to get on here and make this video because I haven't been pushing out content as much as I should. So I'm gonna be getting on here sick and all, okay? Cause this is my job. <laughs> this is what I love to do. So it's not even a job because when you love to do something, it's not a job. But what I'm going to say is your nine to five that you're working at, stop going so hard at it. Like it's okay to do your work and take your work seriously. Like that's your job. That's what you apply for. That's what you wanted to do. I understand it. But when you don't feel good and your body is shutting down, crashing, you need to listen to yourself. You need to listen to your body. You need to take off of work. Stop being that person that's saying, I'm never taking off of work. Because when something happens to you and you can't perform the job duties that you had signed up for, they're going to replace you. They don't care what you got going on in your life. Uh, the job has to get done and someone has to do it. You're killing yourself because you're trying to impress this job because you, I know you're trying to move up and it's okay to work at a nine to five job. I'm not saying that it's not okay. It's okay to work at a nine to five job. I work at a nine to five job, but if I'm not feeling good and my body is crashing down and it's telling me that I need to rest, then you need to take off and you need to rest. Whether you got the money to or not, you can make up for that. But at the same time, you need to rest. Like your body is literally crashing down. Your, your mental is not functioning. You can't uh, perform the job that you're trying to work at because you don't feel good. And you thinking that if you keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, like this is your job, you're never taking off. Like this is a hustle. This is a hustle. I understand that your job is a hustle, but you could be doing something better with that time instead of just pushing, trying to make somebody else's business better than what it is. And everybody is not meant to be an entrepreneur. And I understand it because I tried multiple businesses and I, I'm not saying that I couldn't do it, but financially at the times I couldn't do it. it. It just wasn't for me at the times because I already was going through financial hardship. So me trying to uh, become an entrepreneur and you know, you got to put that money out there in order to become an entrepreneur depending on what you're doing and i had to keep putting that money out there and at the same time i couldn't put the money out there because i was already struggling in my personal life and you know that's why i really like youtube because it's like i'm trying to it's like i'm trying to um train for this job that I really want and I'm just waiting for the time to come to get it but at the same time I'm just sitting waiting I'm not uh on my feet um mentally drained from it only because it's something that I want to do and that's why everybody needs to get on YouTube if you have um a special talent that you want to show that you want to get out there something like a hobby that you do or that you're good at like record yourself doing it get on youtube this is the time like you know how sometimes uh you will you'll try something and everybody trying it at the times for so for example when everybody was making clothes back then uh when Mil milano first started everybody was making clothes everybody so and i was in in that era of making clothes like I could have became bigger than what I was. I would have been bigger than what I am now today if I would have just stuck through it because that was my season, but I stopped. And that's why you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing no matter what. You don't stop because I'm telling you, this is your season. You're in your prime. This is your season. So you trying to say, oh yeah, I can't do YouTube because uh, my job or I can't do YouTube because I don't have the right camera. I don't have the right background. My house is dirty. Da, da, da. People be getting on here talking about doing content in their section eight home. And you mean to tell me you're not on section eight and you don't want to get on YouTube because of your home. If you don't stop the nonsense and get on your butt on here and show people your home, stop being embarrassed of your situation. That is what's going to make you better. Letting people see how you are now 
being transparent now that is going to make you better that's your drive that's what's going to get you out here but working that nine to five job burning your body out burning your mind out mentally like people just need to get in a mindset of doing whatever they want to do without um having the feeling like oh people's going to judge me because you know like of course People you know is already judging you. So why is it so hard for people that you don't know and, and that you really can't really hear the criticism? You're, you're just reading it. So you don't really hear it. The, like, if you're not even that big enough where someone would even want to make a video of you. So you're still not even hearing it. You're just reading it. That's why I learned something. Like, don't read the comments. Even if you... I know it's YouTube and you got to read the comments. You got to reply. Like, they look at stuff like that. But even if you... um. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I do not feel good. But let's get back on topic, y'all. Because that that's see, that's why I like YouTube. Because you can just be talking and people will love it. You could just talk, 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 and people will love it. Because people like to hear your opinion. People like to hear um what's going on, like being transparent and stuff. And I'm real transparent, like. American ones on don't get y'all already know. But <clears throat> I just wanna say I used to definitely be you. Working at my job, pitting in all the hours, pushing, 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 just trying to like get the money that I want so I can be able to live. And it was like it was hard. It was still hard because when you think you're living at peace and everything is just going good and then an, a strange obstacle just come and <clears throat> destroy your whole thought process and your whole uh plan of life and you have to rearrange things and change things around put out more money than what you're supposed to be putting out after you already had everything in order them obstacles do not let them stop you from doing what you got to do still you keep going you keep thriving if you got to put out more money because of that obstacle then you put out more money because of that obstacle because guess what in the long run it's really going to pay off and i know people say this all the time but trust me it's going to pay off you might not see the progress in your life because you know, we don't never really see it because we're living in it. So, but uh, people around us can definitely see the progress. Like somebody just told me that they see the progress in my life. And I'm like, really? I'm just thinking to myself, like, I don't really see it. Like, how, I don't see it. But I was really grateful that they said that and very happy. Like that made me feel good. It made me feel like I was on the right path in life and i know i'm on the right path in life you know because i i keep faith in my god that's my number one priority is god getting to know him better making sure that i read a verse a bible verse every single day like so i know that i'm on the right path in life but sometimes it do get hard because i recently had an obstacle if you go back to one of my recent videos of somebody like uh breaking a window to my house so like that was kind of it even though it might not seem big to you but it was big to me and it like threw my life off track like my sleeping plans uh things that i was like doing in my day-to-day -day life and i had to rearrange some things and so my life can get back on track so now i'm dishing out more money because of that one incident and i'm not going to let that obstacle get in my way and that's what i'm trying to tell you don't let no obstacle get in your way whatever you got going on you got to deal with it it's, it's it's like you you can't deal with it but you dwelling on it thinking that you can't grow in life that stop thinking it have faith in yourself like i used to always doubt myself i used to always kind of put myself down but now i be telling myself like you got this keep going that little mustard seed of faith is what's going to help you grow in life because god sees that he looks at that he looks at the faith that you have but if you have no faith and you always just spitting negative energy out there you always talking bad about yourself to yourself <clears throat> Of course your life ain't going prosper because you're believing everything that you see. And the tongue is a powerful thing. You need to watch what you say. What you dish out is what you get back. So stop doubting yourself. Stop paying yourself down. Stop working that hard job. And they're going to replace you if you can't perform the duties that you signed up for. Stop. 
They don't care about you. They don't care about you. Once in a while, you'll find that manager that act like, oh, yeah, I'm so he's so transparent. He understands that life be lifing. But at the same time, he still got to perform his job duties. So if you're not performing your job duties, he has to still perform his job duties to make sure that the company is running how it's supposed to be running. And if you're not performing your job duties, you still have to be let go. And that's why they be so sorry, like, oh, I'm so sorry that I really have to do this. Like, I'm so sorry. They probably is sorry. They probably is upset. But at the same time, you can't be mad at them because they have job duties that they have to perform. And if them numbers is not meeting because you're not performing your job duties, then it is what it is and you can't be mad that's why they people always say your co-workers aren't your friends and they really not they can become your friends like after y'all stop working there if you still want to be friends with them due to the circumstances but other than that your co-workers aren't your friends they're your co-workers and i learned i learned that I learned that that's why I stay to myself at my job I know a couple people I like a couple people I actually went out with a couple people but at the same time like I just said work is work personal is personal and you'll never bring your personal life over to your work life and you never bring your work life to your personal life because guess what people was talking and people was judging People is talking and people is judging. And that's going to get in the way of you performing your job duties. Now you can't perform your job duties because everybody know your business because you done board the co-worker into your personal business. Now they bring in the personal, your personal business over into your work and now everything is just spilling over into everything. That's why you just need to keep your co-workers as your co-workers, keep your personal life as your personal life. And also worry about you you need your job because you need the money to pay the bills so you can become whatever it is that you're trying to become of course i understand that trust me i do i work a nine to five i understand but at the same time like you see how i don't feel good i took off of work because i don't feel good i can't perform the job duties that i signed up for because i don't feel good i'm not in the right state of mind I, be, I barely I barely can stay up and you want me to come to work and perform these duties that I signed up for? I can't. So I need a resting day. And you need a resting day as well. Stop trying to please your job that's not trying to please you. How, you dishing out all of this and they don't even care about you at all. One bit. Not even an ounce of it. They don't care about you. Because soon as you cannot perform them duties, child, I'm telling you, you is going to be dropped like a bad habit. And don't be mad. <laughs> don't be mad. And you see how I'm telling you this now? So in the future, I don't wish none of this on anybody, on you, on nobody. But I'm just saying, in the future, think back for when you seen this video. She was right. You couldn't perform your job duties and they had to let you go. And you thought your co-worker was your friend. And they're not. And they threw you under the bus. So now you're out of a job. You're out of a friend. <laughs> that you thought you had. But I'm glad that y'all tuned in to watch this video. I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just wanted to get on here and just let y'all know. Like, have faith in yourself. Stop speaking negativity over your life. Stop paying your 9 to 5 before yourself, your mental capacity, and your physical Picture you first. Do what you want to do. You don't need the best things in life to become who you're trying to become. Trust me, you're going to get there. It's steps into all of this. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. And I hope you return back. And I hope you like my content. And I just want to say, you are somebody. Make the most of the life that you have now. And become the person that you want to become. Because nobody is going to live your life the way you're supposed to live your life. Subscribe.